we're here, Canisket Palmer State Park in Washington. Um, I'm probably going to butcher the name multiple times, but I think it's Canisket uh, or Canisket Palmer. Uh, so far, it looks like a very beautiful park. And here's the cool part about this. We're going to flip some things around. I'm going to set up quickly. Um, not a lot to do, but there is some. And then I'm going to go for a hike. So we're going to go for at least one hike right now, maybe do one again in the morning. But uh, right now it's about checking out the park and everything looks pretty cool. So the car is all set up. It is early, so we're gonna switch things up and do some hiking today. Whew. Time to get on the boots and get going. Okay, so the hiking trail is actually back near where I came into the park. So I'm actually walking up the hill to it, but man, it is lush, it is green, it is absolutely gorgeous. So I found the trail, it's right down here. We're gonna go uh, hike it. Enjoy the park.
Okay, so this hiking trail is really easy. It's well maintained. Um, I, I'm going towards a river, so I'll be checking out some water here, but man, this is just a really beautiful place so far. Uh, I'm gonna try the name again. Canascat Palmer State Park. Um, so far, so good. Really enjoying it. So on this part of the trail, uh, it's going to cut through um, the day use uh, park. Uh, at least that's what the ranger said when I checked in. Um, you know, it's nice that you can come and you can hang out overnight if you want, or you can just come and spend the day. Anytime you can kind of go out and enjoy the great outdoors, I'm all for it. Now wait for a second. Can you hear it? It's water. I believe it's the river. We're getting close. So I heard what I thought was um, like the rushing waters, but I, I think actually it's just the wind in this area. Uh, I'm at the end of this particular part of the hike. Uh, I see a couple other options moving forward. I know there is water, so we're gonna go try and find the river. Okay, there you go. It looks like the river is down here. So that's where we're gonna go. Uh, as many of you know, my mother loves water. Every time I go someplace, if I can find the water, that's my job. That's her son. That's my primary job, to find water. And there is water here. So we're just gonna go hang and enjoy. interesting signs to see on the hike um, but they got to warn you about everything and there there's the water As of right now, I think this is as far as I'm gonna go. Uh, it is very, very muddy over here. And uh, uh, last time I was out, I fell in the mud and I'm trying to avoid that, but still get a sense of the, the river here. And it's absolutely, it is absolutely gorgeous. Now there is one other area that looks like there might be some river access. So we'll go check that out before we head on back. So this is the area 
that looks like there might be some river access. We'll go check it out anyway. There you go. Now you can see the river a little bit better. Uh, again, I'm gonna stay right about here, but um, I can see why it's the Green River. You can see some green there. Uh, it looks like there's a rock bed right here and then it dips down into the water. So uh, I wonder what this is like during the summer. I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of people who, are, who will come and enjoy the water. So just had a really good hike. Uh, it is, uh, I don't know, early evening. I'm hungry. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start dinner. Dinner is done. Uh, the window shades are, are doing a decent job. Um, the front one, I still am going to need to fix a little bit because I don't know if I just didn't put it in correctly, but there's a little bit of light. Well, not now, but there was a little bit of light coming in. Otherwise, all the other ones seem to work, so that's nice. Um, I have my little heater going for a little bit. Um, Got my North Face sleeping bag. Everything seems to be okay. Hopefully I can sleep. Do it all again tomorrow. We'll see you. cold overnight but I made it um, North Face sleeping bag uh, was really good and I slept inside of the sleeping bag this time um, just couldn't put it on the outside did use the heater uh, once or twice just to cut the chill in the in the car but for the most part it was okay now it did rain overnight and you could hear that and that was kind of cool um, you know, I like a little sound when I go to sleep, so that was nice. Uh, it is still a little cold. I think it is, um, the sun's starting to come out, but with my shades, I can't really tell. Uh, and I don't want to take them down quite yet. So, uh, the plan is I'm going to do some breakfast. This is just a quick, uh, overnight stay, so, um, We'll see, uh, but we're gonna do breakfast next. That's the plan.
Penasquet Palmer State Park is located just about an hour or so outside of Seattle. Um, I think it was really about 35 minutes, but with traffic, it ended up being about an hour. Um, it is to the east of Seattle, and it is an absolutely stunning park. Um, this is March when I'm here. I'm in Site 14. Uh, and it is really gorgeous. Now the park itself is 541 acres and it's located along the Green River, uh, which uh, during my hike, I was able to go see it and it is beautiful down there as well. I can imagine during the summer, uh, people come here and really uh, camp and enjoy the water uh, and just enjoy the area. There's about a 3.2 mile hike uh, that is around um, the um, state park so you can get your hike on while you're here uh, and then you can also boat and kayak uh, down on the river as well although they do recommend uh, that you are of an expert level uh, to do the kayaking on the river now in terms of the camping sites it is uh, uh, pretty good i mean there are 25 tent spaces there are 19 sites with the partial electricity hookups there are also six yurts, one dump station, two restrooms, and six showers. Now, good thing about it is if you have a big rig, the maximum length here is 50 feet, so you should be able to get in here. Where I'm at is site 14 in the tent camping areas, and it's very uh, nice here. Um, there is a pad uh, if you want to set up your tent there. Obviously, I, I'm car camping here. In the summer, it would be very easy to use my tailgate awning to set up and, and have some airflow here, uh, and it's all pretty um, pretty level. Uh, I walked around um, the sites, and you can get in and out of them very easily. There are a couple pull-throughs uh, if you have an RV or you, you just don't want to uh, back in, uh, but most of the tent camping sites are you back in and that's the way it was. When I got here, it was uh, on a Friday afternoon and um, at first nobody was here. I thought I was gonna have the park all to myself. Uh, but then, you know, it just kept coming and coming and, and people started to, uh, to pack this place. And um, it's nice to see folks out and about and just really enjoying themselves. Now again, site 14, I had terrible cell service. In fact, I was not able to get cell service at all and I have AT&T, but that's okay. I wanted to unplug and just really enjoy myself. Uh, and I think, you know, this is a spot that I could come back to easily. Again, not too far outside of Seattle and it's really comfortable, uh, a little cold, but really comfortable to come here and just enjoy yourself. Hey, that's gonna do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then of course you can follow me on my website at rvjedi.com. Get out there, enjoy yourself, explore great state parks like this. I love state parks and this is a great reason why you can come, enjoy, unplug, and just relax. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.